Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. I am so excited, cannot contain my excitement. When I woke up this morning and heard about this, I was like, oh, okay, well, we'll wait and see. And I'll be honest, I was a little bit skeptical, uh, but I have played with it and I, the more I'm playing with it, the more excited I'm getting. So we have been waiting for such, such a long time for a larger print then cut and it is here. It is here, it is here. Now, there are some caveats to this. It is not as straightforward as we would like in the, it, it's great and it's larger and it can go super big, but there are some restrictions. We're gonna go through all the great stuff first and then we'll look at some of the restrictions to it at the moment. So the first... So the first thing is it's only available on beta desktop. So you can only use this if you are working on beta. So to switch across to beta, you're gonna come up to your settings bar. We're going to go to settings and we're gonna to go to general and we're gonna switch from live to beta. Now beta is the test phase so it does have glitches but a lot of the new things that are coming into design space are only going on beta but the great thing is you can switch between the two which is really handy because when it is glitching you can switch back to live and when you want to do one of the newer things then you can switch back to beta now as of yesterday we could only print a4 and letter, but we couldn't print the whole page. We were unable to do that. That has now all changed. So as we can see here, we've got different print then cut page sizes. We've got A4, we've got letter, we've got legal, tabloid and A3, which is great for me because I've got an A3 printer. So A4 is a paper size of 8.3 by 11.7. Letter is 8.5 by 11. Legal is 8.5 by 14. Tabloid is 11 by 17. And A3 is 11.7 by 16.5. Now, obviously, if you're gonna do A3, you're gonna need an Explore 3 or a Maker 3 because you're gonna need that slightly larger machine. So with Explore and Maker, you'll only be able to go up to Tabloid, which is 11 by 17. If you've got Maker 3 or Explore 3, you'll be able to go to the A3 size. Now it's really important that when you're doing this, you've got the right size selected, because it will not let you do this unless you're print then cut size is selected in the settings. So the sizes I'm about to give you are for this image. So it is image dependent as to the maximum size. But the great thing is, is that your layers panel will tell you what that maximum size can be based on the image. So I'm currently set to A4. And if we go to our layers, you'll see there's a little red exclamation mark. And if I click on that, it'll tell me that my size is too large. So for A4, the largest I can go is 7.20 by 9.41. I can auto resize the image from here, in which case it will automatically resize it for me. Or I can select change page size. If we then change it to letter, you can see that the largest size for letter is 7.43 by 9.72. And if we go to A3, 
The largest print size is 10.63 by 13.91. So those are your maximum sizes, but you don't have to worry about remembering them because your layers panel will tell you the exact size. And of course you can do the auto resize image, which is just fantastic. It's, it's amazing. Now the first caveat to this is that the first thing is that you can only do one image. So you can only have one layered image to cut at a time. However, what you can do is you can attach your images to make them one. So what I couldn't do is put these all on my canvas and leave them separate and then go to make it. Because it's going to put them on two separate canvases or separate mats, I should say. Even though I've got all this space, but if I attach them together by drawing round, coming to the bottom of my layers panel and selecting attach, and we then go to make it, it will then put it onto the one mat for me. The other thing is that you cannot do a rectangle. You can, but you can't have it the maximum size. So you can see this red line going around. This is the area that you cannot print on or you cannot print then cut on. And it's the same down at the bottom here. So if I wanted to do a sticker sheet, for example, it has to be slightly shorter because it has to be within these red lines and these ones here. So it cannot fill the whole box. It would need to be slightly smaller because you do need these corners to be left free. So there are definitely some things that you need to think about with this. I'm set to A3. We're going to go to continue. And we're going to send to printer first. So you want to make sure that your printer actually can handle the size that you're doing it on. And then we can send it to our printer. So when I send to printer, I'm going to make sure my correct printer is selected. I'm going to keep the bleed on just so that I can see the outline. It gives it a little bit of a buffer cut and I'm going to select my system dialog so that I can select a heavier card and a better print quality. When I select print, it's going to come up with my printer dialog. I can go to preferences. I'm going to select A3 and then print. So I'm going to load it in, it's going to scan the lines first and then it's going to cut. Turn my mat over. Always be careful not to overbend your mat. And there we go. We have our new larger print then cut. I am so excited by this. I think everyone is. As I say, there are some caveats. You need to make sure that if you've got more than one image that they're all attached together. You need to make sure that you don't fill up the whole rectangle because those corners do need to be free, but you are getting a much larger print now. I cannot wait to explore this more. I'm so, so excited. 
But for now, what a great start to a Saturday morning. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you've got any questions, please do leave them below. We're all going to be figuring this out the next couple of weeks, but I am so excited to really put this through its paces. I just wanted to get out that actually it's here. You can be on beta, be on desktop, use any of your machines except for Joy. Depending on the size of your printer will depend upon how large you can go. And I cannot wait to see what you all make. Thanks for joining me. Bye.